I'm going to take the netting down. This is the little netting barrier. Bamboos in the ground. I had to uh, take the bamboos out of the out of the pallet in the corners of the pallet and expand it because the foliage was kind of getting to uh, they were it was just growing. They needed a little bit more room. Taking this barrier down. Oh, there's my, uh, oh, look at that. Didn't even notice that. But this is my other red potatoes I have here in the backyard. I'm actually starting to, um, germinate, which is awesome. Wonder how many I can get in, like, in this little bucket right here. You gotta get a decent, or to get an uh, ideal size of this, uh, little bucket. There's one, a crate. And there's the bucket. So it's a little bit, it's actually smaller than a crate. So let's, I don't know what kind of harvest I could get out of that. But down here, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of shade, so uh, bear with me. If you guys can't see the fruit, this is my green bean, uh, little green bean patch over here. I'll try to lift back the foliage, uh, if you guys can see. Some green beans been here, right there. My first time attempting green beans. And the, there's a few ants all over this stuff. You know, there'll be days where I'll come back here and there's ants everywhere. And some days or not. I don't know if they like like this plant or whatever, but I don't think they can do any harm. Or they do any harm to the plant. Which I hope not. In the middle right here, which is being consumed by both of my plants is my other banana pepper plant it's a slow uh this one's actually uh, going pretty slow i don't i don't know why but I just, i'm just gonna leave it alone but it's still growing though i'm not gonna prune this one anymore as well either this is my black bean plant my spanish black bean um there's some beans growing in here excuse me foliage you guys can see that right there uh, too small to focus on. I'm sure you guys can also see the ants. Uh, it's pr plenty of flowers on here. And the flowers are actually pretty on this plant. They're like purple, like a light pink, pinkish purple. Really cool. I can't find any of the flowers. It's really hard to do it with my phone. There's a flower. Give me a second. There's a flower and a bean. All in one. Cool. This is my uh, time bomb or cherry bomb. Is it cherry bomb or time bomb? A uh, pepper plant, like circle red ones. Um, I had to prune it because it was going growing upside the tomatoes, and basically overplanted this box. I think. Lesson learned. Yeah, it's a uh, setting flowers. Flowers right there. Uh, there's more somewhere actually there's a actually a fruit producing over here these are my tall tomatoes if you go back in the video this is uh the anonymous tomato don't remember the name it's pretty it's pretty damn tall it has fruit or just, uh flowers right here at the top up here it has flowers down here. Oh, I lost them. No, I didn't. There we go. Flowers down here. And I think that's all the flowers on it. Now on the other side is uh my early girl tomato plant. And this one uh, is doing uh, wonders. There's like maybe six or seven tomatoes down here. You guys can see that one right there starting to come out starting to show itself there's more flowers right here there's more flowers up here there's <laughs> more flowers right here over here and right there, there yeah, there's flowers everywhere on this thing my, my, uh, I really don't eat tomatoes I like the lemon boys a lot better but my my wife she loves tomatoes a lot and right here is my cucumber plant. 
I did a piss poor job on cucumbers last year. It was my first year again. But um, this year I'm having a lot more luck. I'm actually, uh, there's a flower right there. But um, with cucumbers, you know, the flowers are the boy parts. I was uh, kind of researched. The flowers are the boy parts and the fruit are actually the girl parts. So I, you know, I came out here this morning, like these flowers weren't out here yesterday. There's another flower that's gonna produce right there. And there's actually some fruit on here if you guys can. Um, let me find some fruit. Uh, there's some on the outside. Um, oh, there we go. There's some some fruit right there. I got three different kind of cucumbers, straight eight. Uh, the pickling cucumbers, and there's a, another variety. I really don't know the name. But, uh, looking for more fruit. Can't find it at the moment. There's more on here, but you gotta adjust to what I got, what I got going on. And last but not least, our compost piles, which I'm sure you guys already seen in the previous videos. But hey, why not? Might as well throw them in the uh, the video. This uh, this stuff's broken down a lot, and it's it's really good. I use it for everything, and it does wonders for my for my vegetation. This pile right here. Um, brand new pile of the year and I'm going to let it sit uh, all this year and hopefully it's going to be a good a good resource to use for next year's garden this is the uh, backyard I had to cut this is the backyard I have to cut to maintain a huge uh, or a big compost pile and a lot more broke back here so I can't, uh, can't cut the grass and harvest anymore. But yeah. Oh. One thing uh, I want to show you guys is um, one of the red potatoes that I have that I'm going to um, I'm going to put in more containers. One of them actually fell off the balcony and it actually see here, here they are on the balcony right here. It fell off and one actually grew in the ground right here and he, this plant right here it's a potato plant but I don't I don't get it uh, I don't know it just grew in the ground natural dirt I actually picked took it out of the ground and I just buried it in some dirt right here and it's growing it's growing this right here right here so, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, for potatoes, you don't need any special soil amendment or you need to make your own soil, just throw them in, uh, just throw them in dirt and they'll grow. So, I'm, I'm going to put this cage back on it and keep an eye on it, see if it'll grow. Alright guys, uh, that's it for my video today. Uh, I apologize for not um, doing any uh, video updates. I've been extremely busy um with you know maintenance in the garden you know going to work working overtime taking care of my two kids and i'm actually uh, helping build a uh a greenhouse down in the inner city you know to help supply food you know for the unfortunates you know life is just uh it's it, it's it's hard you know i'm just a, a young guy with a lot of goals and aspirations with uh, not enough time. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. You guys have a good one. See ya. Bye bye.